Hello guys, welcome to another video of Carolina EDC. Since the title of the video, we have a lever action from the guys at Rossi. You know, it's kind enough this to send to the channel. I appreciate those guys. Make sure to check those guys out. I've been really getting interested in the lever action rifles, and I'm not an expert on it, but I'm learning as I go. But there are so many calibers available, length, um, just style, all kinds of different things available. And depending on where you get it from, prices can this could be uh, variable as far as the quality go and everything, but there's no exceptions here. Rossi has some great quality stuff. Uh, they've been around for long times. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's a partner or, or or sister company of Taurus USA, and they've been uh, bringing out some cool stuff here. Uh, now this one is gonna be the R92 triple black wood, matte black, 357 mag, and also shoots 38 special plus P. And this is gonna be a 16 inch lever action rifle. And we're gonna talk real quick about the, uh, you know, the specs and everything. And again, if you uh, check the details down below in the description box, you can get pretty much everything. I always notate everything if I miss anything or just wanna go back and read it, uh, you can do so. Uh, let's start with the front. We got a threaded barrel here. So if you like to put a suppressor, that's a big plus, but a lot of lever action rifles don't have that. So you have to get it sent out and thread it and all that good stuff. But this one's already, uh, comes already threaded. And uh, let's talk about the price. The MSRP is a thousand, just a little thousand dollars, and I'm sure you can find a little bit cheaper. You just got to shop around. Uh, the capacity on this is going to be eight rounds, two fed right here, side uh, gate here on the side, and ejects from the top, as you can see there. Nice uh, rifle here overall. I like it. Real lightweight, compact, and everything, but it has a front um, shift adjustable uh, sight in the front. It's going to be a brass beat. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll get some close up. And also, it has a rear hole sight. I don't know if you can see it right here with a picketing rail. So, if you decide to put a red dot or a scope, whatever, uh, you can do so. And it has a nice picketing rail. Again, adjustable um, peak hole type uh, rear sight here, which is um, adjustable as well. And um, the barrel is going to be, again, 16.50, so 16 and a half inch long and the overall it's going to be 33.70 inches in length and the weight 97.80 ounces that's unloaded uh and again you can shoot 357 38 special uh the barrel is going to be twist rate it's going to be one and 30 right handed and it's got six groove barrel uh lane in it and uh overall it shoots very accurate and everything i really enjoy shooting lever actions but again it's a pros and cons to everything but uh just for planking and shooting or even hunting uh you can definitely not go wrong with a lever action now the stock is going to be wood uh it's going to be uh a uh, durable all weather black on black um splatter paint which is pretty neat uh doesn't give much texture but it gets a little rough uh feeling there not too bad uh it's not really too much to really grip into but um on that you can change that if you like to uh, there's a lot of aftermarket stuff out there you can change these things too it's got a nice oversized charging handle or loop charging handle with uh some paracord here kind of just protect your hands um when you charge it and everything hammer it's got a thumb safety here which uh is very interesting i don't think i've never seen one like this or ever shot one of thumb safety but as you can see it's got a little small thumb safety here to uh drop a bar here so the hammer won't hit the round and then uh to deactivate just push it back and you see red is fired and yeah that's pretty much it uh again rossi r92 uh and we're going to take some shots on paper and then just have fun with it definitely going to shoot some uh, 38 special and 357 can i get a point of impact and see what any difference will be at 50 yards i uh, also forgot it's got a rubber pad on the back to sort of the recoil not much of a recoil but it shoots very nicely and everything all right enough talking and let's go shooting all right guys we're going to shoot uh eight rounds at 50 yards on paper we're going to start with the top target i got two targets out there 50 yards and we'll be using uh 38 special 132 grain full metal jacket pmc bronze just target loads here and let's see what kind of groove we get at 50 yards all right here we go
Se nace. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and load up eight more rounds and we'll be using uh, precision ammunition, 357 Magna, uh, 158 full metal jacket. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the 357. I think it only has seven rounds, so that's all I have for me. Let's go ahead and shoot those rounds at 50 yards on paper. And we'll be shooting the bottom target this time. All right, here we go. All right. If you deserve, definitely got a little more thump to it, but not much recall difference. And I think we're out. All right. So that was fun. Gonna sit this down. And we're good to go. Now let's go check the target. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So 38 special. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shooting to the right. Not a bad. Again, those type of sights I'm not used to, but, but 357. I don't even know. I think they all went far to the right. You can see a few holes here. Uh, not really sure. That's a 5.56. Five, that was just from earlier. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try the 357 and see if I have any or any more. If not, then we'll continue with 38 special. So stay tuned. All right, guys. I found like uh, five more rounds to 357. I'm going a little bit to the left or right at the edge of the left of the target just to see if we can hit paper this time. Shooting at the same target on the bottom and hopefully we can get something here. All right, here we go. So I aim way to the left just to see if I can get it on paper. So let's go check it out. So that's interesting. <laughs> I'll say my at the bottom target and here's the rounds. One, two, three, four, maybe five. I don't know. So it shouldn't weigh high with the 357 rounds. Like I say, I was aiming right here, try to get it on center. But, huh, I mean, pretty close to where I aim if I was aiming here. So, not sure. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> let's continue shooting. Hi guys, you're seeing the R92 from Rossi USA. Again, appreciate this guy for sending this. 
uh, lever action, 357 mag, 38 special plus B, 16 inch lever action rifle, threaded barrel, which has got everything you need exactly what you want to set it up if you do get one uh just standard lever action really like it uh definitely not sure what am i going to put on this or whenever i get a suppressor suppress it as well and just pretty much ready to rock and roll as far as the stock goes and everything it is a little slick but that's just the beast uh you know that's how it is with this lever action uh, but they do have a lot of aftermarket stuff where you can change the stuff and make it more modernized and more practical to your liking however you want to set it up but other than that, as far as the shootability, I like it. Definitely like it, especially with 38 Specials, very small recoil, very, very low recoil. With 357 and this 16 inch rifles, not really much difference. I mean, you can tell a little bit, but that's not much to really uh, impact your shootability. And one thing I do not like, other than I like everything about the rifle, is the oversized loop. Now I understand if you're hunting, especially out west, where it snows a lot, and you wear gloves, you want something that you're able to charge it. Uh, it does have the uh, pedal cord here, which gives you a little bit of cushion, kind of doesn't beat your hand every time you rack it, which is not a problem, but after so many hundreds of rounds you shoot, you definitely gonna feel like your hands gonna be sore. But other than that, I mean, as far as the action goes, it's not bad at all. Um, the action is semi-smooth. It doesn't hang up. I mean, of course, for lever action, you gotta make sure you stroke it all the way forward so you can pick the next round and charge it in. Uh, if you short stroke it, you're gonna have malfunction. That's just the nature of lever action because you are the one running the action. Uh, trigger, as far as the trigger go, uh, trigger is not bad at all. I really like it. Not really sure of the poundage on the trigger, but other than that, I mean, there's really no take up at all, which pretty much that's how lever actions are. Nice break. Uh, I mean, overall, the trigger is very amazing. Um, so far that I have shot on a lever action rifle. And again, it is a uh, sidecar charge, uh, loading, I'm sorry, eight rounds of 357 or 38 special. And it jacks from the top, as you can see. And yeah, overall, I like it. I definitely like it, recommend it. If you're looking for a lever action, 357 or 38 special, which it doesn't break your bank. Uh, it is, the MOD is kind of still expensive and uh, 38 Special, which it gives you two capabilities, shoot two calibers, 38 Special be the one. If you like to go plinking, your shooting practice, whatever, uh, I really recommend this. And again, it doesn't weigh that much at all. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about the R92 Rossi. Um, definitely like it. If you are familiar with that, if you have one of these, let me know, comment down below. Or if you decide to get one of these, make sure to check those guys out. Again, if you're not following me, if you're new to the channel and everything, make sure to hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And if you're new, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. You know what to do. There is a membership as well as share, or you can donate however you like. Not necessary, but the thumbs really do help and subscription as well. All right, if you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing out on products like this coming onto the channel. Kind of give you a sneak peek of what's coming up on the channel for review and other stuff, discount codes, all that good stuff. Make sure to check the link tree in that account. Many, many discount codes as well as in the description down below or how many discount codes for many different type of companies as well to save money and it helps me out as usual. All right, guys, that's pretty much it as usual. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.